over the instructions earlier. Mind, a, obey my commands at all times. Good luck. Touch him up. Weeks ago, Sullivan Barrera tweeted, some people say this, I had day with no food, no bed to sleep, and no See money. If he has enough, test Bivol and find out what Bivol is really all about. The reference to the fight. All of the others who have had hundreds of fights in Cuban uniforms and amateur. Momentum in his favor that early. Bivol has on the work after he gets out of that first round danger yeah, so I can understand why he wants to avoid the early contact. And better than Right now, Bivol is getting chances and, to And I'd say also he's the bigger puncher. Puncher. But doesn't mean there aren't things your opponent can do with timing and using his Max. As we get ready for the end of round one, you're going to go to is considerably more prominent on a global level. And he is against Sergey Kovalev. In the event, you'll be seeing Igor Mikhail better be up or the other big punchers in this division. I'll tell you what, stuff for an up and coming prospect or up and coming late here. That, that right hand on the button. The bowl, in my view, has light heavyweight Gennady Golovkin. With real pain. And now a sense of urgency may emerge for Bivol as blood is right eye. Never been cut yeah. before. You know, we wanted questions answered about Bivol already. I love the kind of punching I'm seeing from Bivol. Yeah. Herrera has a title belt. Was less. Guys, did anyone see what caused that cut? What spectacular amateur career for Bivol. Two wins. And he goes to work. Four calls the head, but the heads collided right there as both guys were coming up to throw a left hook. The heads landed first, and then Bivol's hook landed. Bivol is averaging nine landed jabs per round. The division average is under five landed jabs per round. A responsible boxer puncher. The most impressive thing about Bivol right now is that he really comes back and attacks with counter punches. That's the most impressive thing I've seen about him all night. No question to play defense with his legs and get distance with his legs much. And he does that when he comes. Blood flowing again from the cut outside the right eye. So we get a fighter than he's been in with before and trying to take over the fight with his and now their heads come together again and this time it's Barrera. Why do they keep banging heads like that? Because both guys are thinking both guys are thinking high offense. We get two guys thinking high Yeah, no one's scared in there. No. Two true professionals going in. But the one who made the point often, Jim, what separates fighters on the world-class level is Fence here in this round. Already, in round hey. three, Bivol has tripled the Canelo round. Alvarez and Gennady Golovkin meet in the rematch of their fight from last He lands both shots. He lands the left jab. He lands the straight right hand. He lands the left hook. He lands, the left, he lands, he lands another hand. left hook that wobbles Barrera. The better technician and lands with more pop. So an excuse. Yeah. Sullivan is showing a good job of because the ball is so much quicker than him. He's going a body attack, but he's not doing that. He's going all head. If he went to the body some, he could have So if Barrera was smart, he'd attack the body now and try to even this fight up. Much some. faster hands could counter him upstairs. He's running that risk anyway. See that? He's running that risk anyway, Jim. If you it's just the way it works because it's a one on one sport. When one fighter has a, a chance to win. And that's what the body shot would do if he could do that. And you see the graphic that says Bivol has landed 20 before he left the corner. That was a good body shot. Earlier is his explosiveness too. When he punches, he explodes with every punch when he, when he thinks he has it. Kovalev, who we'll see in the main event tonight, and who we're very familiar with throughout his title. Kovalev. No, he's not. He's a sharp puncher. But news for the light heavyweight division. Because Bivol has had to, you know, taste his own blood. It's been a Within the past couple of weeks, Keep him up, keep him up. kind of stuck. Might have been on the belt line. That was a There's a right hand up still. There's a straight right hand by Bivol. Barrera just walked in and ate it. He did eat it, but I don't know how what? well he ate it. Hey. Be within your punching range, but he's not in a position where you can hit it. He's stepping to one side. Another attempted body shot for Barrera. Good body shot. Now this time Barrera gets the right hand. Body shots. You feel me? So Barrera finding more. Barrera's lost a lot of steam on his punches right now too. It seems Max. Yeah. On some of them, not all of them right now. That right hand still has stuff, but I started to say the right hand was pretty good. Mm -hmm. Those are good one here and there, but their punches on the, for the most part are about even. Bivol still quicker. Yeah, he's quicker. Or maybe Bivol is sensing that 
That was a good try. Oh, good right hand to the right hand to the body by Dimitri Bibo. In the last round that said that Bibo had landed 55 jabs to three. Pretty good jab. How big a problem is it? Seems to have been completely taken away. Well, speed neutralizes things like that, and uh, Bivol's speed has neutralized that jab. Not only that, but Bivol also keeps Kellerman correct in saying that the begins to look a little bit like a golf ball. Yes, it's not quite Hasim what they're you know, and, and by the way, he's winning every round, Bivol, and he's comfortably ahead, obviously, and he's swelling on the left side of the forehead. He tested physically in a way. And all, all that means if he walks away with a win to, to adversity right. uh, that the fighter who got the worst of that headbutt was Sullivan Barrera. Jim can't feel too bad either though. <laughs> the hand speed is remarkable. I mean, you just don't see many 175 pound fighters who can put the hand like this with the velocity and the style and the effect that they're getting in there. The velocity is right, Jim. He's right. using it to... Not it's not that serious. Oh, he'll be all right. You've got to work. you got to be first. See where you started? You were first. Eighth round, but only a few times. That's a little surprising because Bivol, uh, again, tripling Barrera in terms of landed punches and fights. I like that, Jim. Humiliating. He appears to try to get just a little breather. In round nine, react. Oh, and now he comes back with a hard right hand of his own. Throws it again. Throws it again. On a stop. Good jab by Bivol. By the way, even if you're thinking, well, yeah, but Barrera's done his damage with his head. But against Bivol, who has kept him, you know, upright in this fight. Left hand, the right hand in the first few rounds. That no other opponent he's faced would have stayed in. To Barrera, 57 out of 469. Okay, Jim, I got a 90 to 81, nine rounds to nothing, Dimitri Bivol. Jimmy's just out boxing him. The fight's been... The fights are important no matter how good a prospect looks in terms of developing a prospect. Bivol's physical qualities, the speed, the quickness, the punching power, the seeming or mental approach to make him better. Strong and staying sharp, as sharp as he was in round one, in round eight through 12. Uh, that will go home and work on. Because withstanding the damage from the butts and getting under it, that's not something that you've never seen before. So yes, that does add comfort. He went from boxer puncher who might knock you out with any shot to more pure boxing. Yes. A conscious realization on his part. Hey, this no, guy is durable and tough. No, I don't think it was, Jim, because he still was at times who saw much more because he's gotten three pretty vicious headbutts already. Ready, so why would you stick your head down? Like he thought maybe that's something that had worked for him, and to be there, that's your problem. Yeah, I just think that's just how Barrera fights, though. I think that's kind of who Barrera is, and it was say he punches right there. He brings his head with his punches anyway. And did a three-punch combination, and then a stiff jab up the middle, and there's another stiff jab up the middle by Dimitri Bivol. Modestly, Max, but at the end of the day, you walk out of the room and there's no question. You, you know he's confident, and he's really... This is the kind of defense. he would have been more impressive to many in obvious ways had he just blown Barrera out. But we retired. I was focusing on what it was going to take. Seems to me to still be developing. He didn't try to tell Andre that he had enough to beat him right There's now. Still room for improvement, but oh, the end by Bivol. Yes. Perfectly timed. Hey! Really. And good. Sullivan Barrera is very good. Very good. You gotta do a little better. But you fought for this. You fought for your daughter. Three minutes. Second up. One of them a little bit younger, quicker, and more vibrant in there tonight. And Olympic boxing or amateur boxing. And in the international level, you notice it's Evo, Barrera, better be as. Stop me when you get to an American. And I asked Bivol in the meeting, I said, you know, we always talk here in the United States about how spectacular they are as amateurs. Do you folks in Russia feel the same way about the top of the amateur boxing world? It also tells you if champions, we have to get our amateur. Oh, down goes Pereira, and you can see Bivol thinking to himself. Is Harvey Doc going to let him continue? No. It's a stoppage, and Bivol gets earlier about he went at how Bivol seems to go into boxer.